Hi, my name is George Summers. Today I'm going to show you how you can become a Google search ninja. These are ways you can further filter your search to get more relevant results to your searches. So for example, if I'm doing uh, research on uh, Kung Fu, you will notice that I get uh, various Wikipedia articles, uh, I get some movie information from Kung Fu Panda, uh, variety of information uh, from that may or may not be relevant to my search. So if I want to further filter that search, I can go under settings and choose advanced search. And under, under advanced search, you have options for uh, using exact words or phrases. Uh, so if you want a particular name uh, in there that you're, of someone you're looking for, um, you can also, um, uh, you can actually use none of these words, means I can exclude words from my search results. So it'd be, it would better filter my results for better, more relevant searches. I can also have additional options here depending upon how I want to uh, uh, do my search. And I can also uh, specify exactly what kind of file type I might be looking for. So if I'm looking for a PDF, if I'm looking for a, uh, a PowerPoint, uh, you can specify the type of file that you're looking for and it will uh, return those in your search results. So for uh, as an example, in our search, we came up with uh, results having to do with Kung Fu Panda, the movie. So if I take out the word panda from my search and I go click on advanced search, uh, then I won't get any, ideally, any information about or a lot, much less information about the Kung Fu Panda movie. And then you can add on to these as well. Um, uh, add additional exclusions to your search, for example, minus movie, and that would that would ideally bring up less information about kung fu movies and more about the art of kung fu that might be more relevant to your search. I can uh, also search by image type, so. I click on images. Now I get images relating to my search. You even have some um, keywords that you can attach to your search, vintage or ancient China, and those kind of things would be added to your search as well. When searching on images, there are additional ways for you to find images that are useful to you uh, and if you go under tools you can explore these one of my favorites is when i'm having students do research i like to have them look for large file sizes versus smaller file sizes they work better in in projects that they're working on including in uh, papers or printing out for uh, reports and that kind of thing especially when they are upscaled and they look better so you definitely want to look by large size you can ser search by a particular color so if i only want black and white images those would obviously print better if you have a black and white printer only um, Um, another way for you to search on images is by usage rights. So if they're labeled for reuse but modification is allowed or they're labeled for general reuse or specifically non-commercial reuse with modification, you can better filter your images so you know that you're not uh, violating any, any uh, licensing rights or copyright issues um, even though we are uh, largely in the educational field and we have some fair use um, exemptions there, we still want to teach our students to stay within uh, copyright parameters. I'm going to go back to the Google Home site. 
And one last thing you can do, this is kind of fun. If you hover over I'm feeling lucky, you get a variety of, of um, scrolled options there that will take you to a page that they think you would find interesting. So if I click on I'm feeling puzzled, it tells you about a Google a day, which is a great way to, um, they give you a question prompt, which involves a, a couple of search layers uh, in order to, to um, get to the answer that they're seeking. Um, so, for example, an 11 foot bird lives less than two miles from these GPS coordinates. What is his name? And they give you an example of how you might search for that. And if you start playing, they give you whatever the Google for that day is. I found these to be pretty tough, but also a good exercise. So anyway, I hope you found uh, these Google tips helpful in uh, uh, getting more filtered and relevant searches and uh, getting quickly to the information that you want. Have a good day.